Dear all, welcome back to Eduarks lecture series. In this video we will see various urban planning concepts. Before getting into the video, those who have not subscribed, please click the bell icon at the bottom. To get latest video uploads, thank you. Now into the lecture. Urban planning. Concepts. Urban planning is the process of developing and designing urban areas to meet the needs of a community. The practice draws from a number of disciplines architecture, engineering, economics, sociology, public health, finance, and more and strives to prepare cities and towns for the future. It is typically used as part of a larger city plan, and should tie back to your city saw mission and vision statements. Urban planning touches on numerous city life elements, new and pre-existing land, buildings, roads, communal spaces, transportation, economic development, infrastructure, and the environment, among others. We have broadly categorized these aspects into different conceptual areas below. These areas are commonly referred to as types of urban planning, but it's important to understand that they are not mutually exclusive. In fact, a cohesive urban plan should include many or all of the below areas. Strategic Urban Planning Strategic urban plan in GA focuses on setting high-level goals and determining desired areas of growth for a city or metropolitan area. The result of the planning process is a strategic plan, also called the development plan, core strategy, or comprehensive plan. The strategic plan's goals may include easing transportation throughout the city, creating more community spaces, improving citizens' quality of life, or encouraging people to visit or move to the city. Land use planning. Land use plan in Gaul largely concerns legislation and policy, adopting planning instruments like governmental statutes, regulations, rules, codes, and policies to influence land use. On a broad level, these planning instruments deal with the type, location, and amount of land needed to carry out different functions of the city. They also serve to zone or reserve land for certain purposes such as Residential A4 buildings like apartment homes, single-family residences, and condominiums. Commercial A4 buildings like retail shops and office buildings. Industrial A4 structures like manufacturing plants and warehouses. Municipal A4 structures like police stations and courthouses. As with subsequent types of urban planning, consulting with the community and relevant stakeholders is an important part of land use planning to ensure transparency and incorporate a wide range of interests into the overall plan. If you communicate your strategic plan well, then transportation, commercial and industrial planning should flow right into your plans. Master Planning Master Plan in GA is typically used for greenfield development projects, or building on undeveloped land. Instead of modifying pre-existing structures or spaces, you are starting from scratch. This type of urban planning envisions a future state for a given space, and what it will take to achieve that vision. Urban planners must consider the required zoning from your land use plan and infrastructure to make the project possible, such as residential and commercial land, transportation considerations, road locations, etc. They must also plan the location of urban amenities such as community facilities, schools, parks. Again, Consulting with landowners and government agencies impacted by the plan is an essential task here. Additionally, you may need to bring in professional consultants to gather important expertise and insights, ensure the plan considers all potential angles, and set the completed space up for success for years to come. Urban Revitalization In contrast to master planning a urban revitalization a focuses on improving areas that are in a state of decline. The exact definition of a declining area will differ from city to city, for example, areas that have a troubling number of failing businesses or a stagnant or decreasing population growth. The improvement tactics city leaders use for revitalization will depend on the root cause of decline, and may include things like repairing roads, developing infrastructure, cleaning up pollution, and adding to parks and other public spaces, etc. Community interaction is especially important with this urban planning concept, as local residents and business owners often have insights that can help inform and tailor planning efforts. 
you may need to change land use from industrial to residential to get the loft apartments you want, or involve environmental planning to assess or clean up certain locations. Economic Development Economic development is about identifying areas of growth to foster greater financial prosperity within the city, specifically by enticing companies to build or move offices there. Subsequently, those companies then hire local talent and drive commuter traffic to the new office. More workers dining at local restaurants for lunch, getting gas at nearby gas stations, and stopping by local grocery stores on the way home will boost visibility and spend in the area. Sometimes an economic development department lives outside the planning department of a municipality, so it is important to help that group navigate land use plans, master plans, and infrastructure plans to ensure that any development projects are workable. Of course it will be important to coordinate with environmental plans as well. Environmental Planning Environmental plan in GA is a type of strategic development that emphasizes sustainability. Considerations for this type of urban planning include air pollution, noise pollution, wetlands, habitats of endangered species, flood zone susceptibility, and coastal zone erosion, along with a host of other environmental factors dealing with the relationship between natural and human systems. Environmental plans need to be filed alongside master, revitalization, and infrastructure plans. Infrastructure Planning Infrastructure plan in GA deals with the fundamental facilities and systems that serve a city and its people, and how those facilities can support goals laid out in the strategic plan. This type of urban planning covers public works infrastructure areas such as water supply, sewage, electricity, and telecommunications. Community infrastructure areas such as schools, hospitals, and parks. Safety and transportation areas such as roads, police, and fire facilities. Thanks for watching, a gentle reminder, for those who have not subscribed our channel, please click the bell icon and subscribe. If you like our videos, please share with your friends, thank you.